Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get literally zero Emperor delay in Fortnite chapter 2 season 7 and I know guys that I already did a bunch of guides like this but I got brand new stuff again here for you guys to actually try out and reduce your input delay to the bare minimum. And just as a quick thank you for you guys and the massive support and me actually being able to join Team Devourer, I'm gonna give away another Batman pickaxe under this video so just comment why you wanna win it and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, all the infos are literally in the description. This video is about all the optimization tweaks I would personally do to literally get zero input delay on Fortnite and the new best stretch resolution in my opinion. And if you guys want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Guys, and to start off this video, there's actually a secret monitor setting which most of today's gaming PCs will have and it's called MMA. And what this does pretty much, it's going to give your monitor more voltage which actually will reduce the input delay on Fortnite and on gaming in general because your monitor is just going to be way more responsive and most likely all 75 hertz plus monitors will have this feature there are also tons of 60 hertz monitors will have this and it's super easy to actually access all you guys have to do is click on your monitor menu which would be for me here right now on the xl2546 on the bottom right corner and there you can see now that we have like a new menu here with game settings picture display and system and what you want to do you just want to scroll down until you find picture and there we can already see it here guys i'm recording this with my phone i know this is a little bit scuffed but there is actually no recording software for this and we're just gonna scroll down here a little bit until we find MMA. And there we already have this feature here selected. We have an off mode, a high and a premium mode. And if your monitor can actually feature this, always select the premium one. If it has only the high one, then obviously keep it on high there, guys. This feature is just overall gonna make your monitor way more responsive and therefore better for gaming, especially for competitive gaming. And yeah, there we already here applied it correctly. And this is it for the first step guys. And yeah guys, just as a quick explanation, MMA actually stands for Advanced Motion Acceleration and it controls the response time of your monitor and can indeed reduce your input delay and latency on your monitors just to make it even faster for gaming. And I know for a fact that tons of modern monitors have this feature guys, so therefore if you have it, this is a really cool thing and you should definitely utilize it. And now let's continue with the next step. So guys, and if you're lately experiencing tons of game crashes, your game just doesn't feel really smooth or your PC is running super slow guys, there's one one simple way to fix this and this actually works on any type of PC, it doesn't matter if you're on a low-end PC, a laptop or a normal gaming PC, this works literally for everyone and this is a built-in feature of Windows 10 and what I want you to do is go into the video description and copy the following line which is called SFC then backlash scan now and we're just gonna copy this one here and then go here into the Windows search bar and type in CMD until we find the comment prompt them and just simply right click on it and run it as an administrator and then you can see like this new CMD file and what I would like you to do now is just simply paste the comment in you just copied here from the description and then we're just gonna press enter and what this will do this is like kind of like the built-in Windows feature to actually repair Windows replace missing files replace corrupted files and stuff like that and just as a quick explanation guys Windows is always repairing some stuff in the background and as you can see right now here I already had a small repair actually pending so therefore I need to restart my PC and afterwards Windows is just gonna completely repair everything so if you're missing some files or something is corrupted which is which could be potentially which could be potentially slowing down your windows windows is going to fix this right now which could potentially slow down your windows this is going to fix it 100 percent and yeah guys in this next step i'm going to show you how to disable a certain service on windows 10 which probably gives you more input delay and we're just going to disable it it only takes a few seconds and what i want you guys to do now is go into windows search bar and tap in device until you find the device manager and just simply open up the window and then as you can see here in this endless list we should find somewhere here the system devices and yeah, once we're here in system devices, we're just going to scroll down a little bit until we find the high precision event timer. Guys, you can literally do some research for yourself. Everyone is going to tell you that deactivating the high precision event timer is actually going to give you less input delay. And therefore, we're just going to right click onto it and go into properties. And there we're going to go onto driver. And there you can already see it here, disable device. We're just simply going to click on it, press yes here and press OK. And we successfully disabled it. And guys, just try it out for yourself. You will definitely notice that you will have less input delay on Fortnite. And with that said, we're already done here with this next step. And yeah guys, now I'm obviously also going to show you the new best stretch resolution in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 and I'm quite surprised because I actually used this resolution today on stream and no one noticed that it is actually a stretch resolution which is kind of crazy. And the stretch resolution I'm talking about is 1798 times 1080 and literally no one noticed that I'm playing on a stretch resolution which is crazy. Guys, just as a quick explanation, I'm almost streaming now on a daily base here on my YouTube channel, some arena gameplay and stuff like that and literally no one out of my 50-60 viewers noticed that I'm actually playing on a stretch resolution. And I have to 
say, especially also while streaming, I had no additional input delay, guys. Everything was super smooth. I just had my normal 5 to 7 milliseconds of input delay, which are quite normal, especially while streaming on Fortnite. And I have to say, I'm just gonna put some clips here in the background. It felt buttery smooth. I had no issues at all. And we're just gonna try it out here real quick in creative again, just to give you guys my most honest opinion. And afterwards, I'm obviously also gonna show you how you can get your hands on this new best stretch resolution in season seven. So see you guys just in a second. So guys, and here we are actually right now in game. And I have to say it looks exactly like normal native. Like I can't really notice a difference there. But what I can definitely notice is that the game is more responsive than actually playing on native. And as a person who's switching consistently between like the best stretch resolutions out there, I can actually feel it now if I'm playing on native or actually on a slightly straight resolution. It's crazy. So here we are right now in the cranking simulator. This is probably my most favorite map right now on Fortnite and we're just gonna try it out. As you can see on the top left side guys, you can see that we're only on 4 milliseconds of input delay, which is crazy. And yeah, let's get into it. And as a final conclusion guys, I can only say that this stretch resolution feels insanely smooth and I'm definitely gonna keep on using it, especially also in arena streams because it just reduces my input delay even more. And I'm just gonna show you here in a second on my desktop how to actually apply this, so stay tuned and see you guys just in a sec. And yeah guys, now I'm obviously also gonna show you real quick how to actually apply this new best stretch resolution and all you guys have to do is type in percenter 10 percenter into your window search bar until this new window you opens up and then just simply click on local C and press F on your keyboard until you find Fortnite game. Then just simply go into saved, config, Windows client, and there you can already see your game user settings. But before we're actually gonna change anything, just simply right click onto it and go into properties and make sure that attribute read only is unchecked. After you're done with that, we just simply double click onto our game user settings and then you see this huge list and we're just gonna scroll down a little bit until we find our resolution size, which should be right here. And we have our resolution size X and our resolution size Y and the last user confirmed resolution size X and Y. And now just simply make sure to copy both of these here and put them in the 1798. Um, for our X resolution, the same also for the last user confirmed X resolution and then for the resolution size Y we're just gonna put in 1080 or just simply leave it because I think for most of you it should be actually like 1920 times 1080 so yeah just simply leave it and once we've done with that and we assured ourselves that we applied everything correctly we're just gonna click onto file here and onto save and then close this window and just to double check that everything is safe we're gonna right click onto our game user settings and go into properties and then actually now gonna put the check here under attribute read only and press apply press ok Okay, and now everything should be saved and you successfully applied this new best stretch resolution in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And also don't forget to enter the giveaway. All the infos are literally in the description. And with that said, if you still have any more questions, feel free to also ask them in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light Big foreign hoe come get inside Diamond Gucci Lee come take a dive